This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Learn more about Squarespace at the end of this video. The OnePlus 7 just got released and while I'm still working on videos for that device, I thought I'd take a quick look at OnePlus's newest upcoming Android Q update for Oxygen OS. Now this software release is a developer preview, so there are plenty of experimental features and bugs. Plus there are a lot of broken things within this first release, including portrait mode on the camera, ambient display, face unlock, and navigation gestures are all missing. There are plenty of non-working apps, or if they do work, you may experience plenty of force closes, and there are a lot more issues. So after hearing that, you probably don't want to manually flash this update just yet. So of course, I took one for the team and I installed it so you wouldn't have to. Now when I first loaded up this developer preview, the first thing I noticed is the new wallpaper. It's a picture of the Galaxy with a dark blue tint. I also noticed that they used the old 3 button nav bar. I'm sure it's a temporary thing and there's no option to change this in the settings just yet. And the overall design looked a bit off, so I decided to change the display size in the settings to the smallest option. Being that this is the first Android Q release for Oxygen OS, I also wasn't really surprised to see that there weren't any huge new exclusive Oxygen OS features. So far it feels like OnePlus just ported all the new Android Q changes found within the pixels into their software. And while I don't want to make another video explaining every feature found within Android Q, I'll just show you all the latest major ones that I found within this software. If you want a more detailed explanation and review of Android Q, I made a video on that a few weeks back, so click that eye in the right corner if you want to check it out right after watching this video, of course. Anyways, the most significant change that everyone is excited for with the release of Android Q is native support for system-wide dark theming. Oxygen OS already had a dark theme in Android Pie, but it's now been expanded. The settings, quick settings, and notifications are all black, and I'm sure in the future they'll expand to all their stock apps. There's even a toggle in the settings under developer options called Override Force Dark, where you can force every app to become dark, including those that don't support a dark theme by default. A few examples include Instagram, Gmail, the Play Store, Google Photos, and more. It's a hit or miss situation, but most apps look great under this forest theme. Also in the developer options, all the way at the bottom, there are some new options for theming, which allow you to customize the accent color, font, and icon shape of the entire UI. The notification panel also got a few new changes. Notifications can now only be dismissed in one direction instead of two. Snooze and block control show up on the opposite side. However, you can change the dismissal direction within the settings, apps and notifications, notifications, advanced, and swipe actions. When you long press a notification, there are two newly designed options to control an app's incoming notifications. Interrupted will make a sound and show you that app's notification in the status bar, lock screen, and notification shade while Gentle will make any app's notifications show up silently. The third option is to block all notifications within an app altogether. Lastly, media controls such as Spotify, YouTube, etc. will now show a seekable progress bar, which also makes the notification a lot larger. I bet you had no idea that Google was also planning on supporting a native screen recording feature. Well, they are, and in Oxygen OS, this feature works like a charm. To enable it, go into the settings under developer options, feature flags, and toggle settings underscore screen record underscore long underscore press. From there, bring up the power menu by long pressing on your lock key and long press the screenshot icon. A small menu will slide up and you can choose to enable taps or a recording voiceover so you can hear yourself talk in the video. And once you hit start recording, Oxygen OS will capture everything on your screen. You can even pause the video if you so choose. Once you hit stop, the recording will appear in your gallery. In the app's info page, there are a ton of redesigns. The app icon is now in the middle. There are three new icons for opening the app, uninstalling or disabling it, and for stopping it. And the page also shows you the average number of notifications you get from the app in a given day. Moving on, there is now a convenient new volume menu that pops up when you press your volume rocker and tap on the settings icon. Even though this next change isn't an option yet in the settings, I can manually change the clock in my lock screen using ADB commands. Each one is beautiful, but my personal favorite is the one in text. I'll drop a link down below to an XDA article showing you how to enable these clocks. Privacy is a more prominent focus within Android Q. A few things that are going to be enforced include background apps no longer having the option to launch activities. If an app is using your location in the background, you'll get a notification to let you know. Apps will no longer be able to automatically turn on Wi-Fi. You have to enable it manually within the settings or quick settings panel. Other permission enhancements include location access. When an app asks for your location permission, you have the option of approving it only when the app is in use. Therefore, if you don't want an app to access your location in the background, you can stop it from doing so. 
Another thing, if I install an old app and open it for the first time, I'll get a new screen that allows me to toggle off certain permissions before the app even runs. Perfect for old sketchy apps. And when I have an app open, icons are displayed in the quick setting shade, indicating the type of permissions that are being used. Those are just a few privacy enhancements within Android Q. There's a lot more where that came from, especially behind the scenes. Let's do a quick speed run of all the last few minor changes. In the settings under network and Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, tap on a currently connected or saved Wi-Fi network, share, and then for security reasons, unlock the next screen by scanning your fingerprint. And finally, you'll see a QR code for a friend to connect your Wi-Fi quickly, and the Wi-Fi password is displayed right below it in case you forgot it. For the battery saver, if you enabled it, there's a new option to automatically disable it when your phone reaches a 90% charge. The share menu has been improved. It displays what exactly is being shared, including text, images, or links, along with a clipboard button. You can also see up to eight app targets instead of four when you pull up the menu. And the only downside is that you can no longer pin apps to the top of the share menu, which does suck. When you download something off the browser, such as an APK, there's no longer a whole new page just to download an app. Instead, there's a dialog menu. The latest Gboard update provides Android Q devices with a few more emojis, including new gender neutral options, a few new animals, foods, and more. And the nav bar will now be colored to match the theme you've chosen. And even though it's not working in this developer preview, Android Q will provide better and smarter contextually suggested actions. For example, if your friend texts you a Twitter link, you can quickly open the link in your Twitter app right from a notification. Notifications that contain a date or time can suggest a Google Calendar action, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. Either way, that's most of the major changes found within Oxygen OS running Android Q Developer Preview. Obviously, I didn't show off every small change or feature, but if you want to see a continuously updated list of almost every newly released Android Q feature, I'll drop a link to an Android Police article where they display this. I'll also drop a link to a OnePlus forum page to download and flash Android Q on the OnePlus 6 or 6T for those who like living on the edge. But before I end this video, I wanted to give a big shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring us. For those who want to build a website but have no programming, design, or technical skills, there's no need to worry, you can make it with Squarespace. They have a dynamic all-in-one platform where you can claim a domain, build a website, sell online, and market a brand. They have award-winning templates to get you started with each one allowing you to work on a wide range of projects. Whether you're pursuing a side hustle or just promoting a gig, I'm currently working on a blog based on my YouTube channel. I'm going to be talking about how I got started and what I've learned over the years. It's going to be released soon, but I love how easy it is to add in text, place images, YouTube videos, add in buttons, etc. Plus, I can customize pretty much every aspect of that template that I selected. It's also never been easier to sell products or services online since Squarespace allows you to easily manage all your products or orders and inventory on the spot. And as if that wasn't enough, you can run email campaigns with over 30 starter layouts to choose from so you can announce a new product, send invitations, or share updates with your subscribers and customers. Squarespace also makes it easy to create a domain or if you already have one from another website to so just GoDaddy, transferring it over is very straightforward. Rather than working with multiple vendors, you can manage all your domains and bill settings within Squarespace's interface. To top it all off, they don't make you install anything. They have award-winning 24-7 customer support via live chat and email. And if you visit my custom link in the description using my coupon code HOWTOMEN, you get a 10% discount on your first website or domain order. Either way, make your dreams a reality with Squarespace. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more awesome Android content. Thumbs up if you enjoyed. Check out my merch for some awesome Android goodness, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!